Hi there everybody, this is Mary Kirby with Flight Global and one of the things that I've learned over the last several years of covering in-flight connectivity for Flight Global is that passengers don't really care uh, about the technology that's driving their connectivity on board aircraft. They just um, they just want to be connected in flight and increasingly they want to have a high-speed connection in flight. Uh, obviously airlines have other considerations, cost being one of the big ones. Um, uh, and cost being number two as well. Cost is a big one. Um, and so uh, lately, um, a solution that's been getting attention on the market is actually Inmarsat's Swift Broadband uh, Aeronautical Service, which supports connectivity systems on offer from OnAir, which is an Airbus seated joint venture, as well as Panasonic's partner Aeromobile and uh, a new one, a Wi-Fi solution uh, over Swift Broadband from Air Inc. Um, and the cost of Swift Broadband has come down, which has made this service, which is a 432 kilobits per second service, um, more attractive. Now, I haven't been able to get a lock on just how much Swift Broadband costs. That is, until I flew Honeywell's uh, Fal uh, Dassault Falcon 900EX aircraft to MBAA in Vegas and had a chat with a Honeywell exec who finally revealed to me some details about Swift Broadband cost and what he thinks about uh, Inmarsat's plan to offer um, uh, higher speeds uh, in the not too distant future. So check it out. He didn't want to go. Uh, he didn't want his face uh, on video. So. Um, Here's some pretty pictures and my interview with a Honeywell executive. We've got Swift 64 right now um, on board this aircraft, not Swift Broadband. That's going to be retrofitted. Um, and obviously, the downfall of right now is airplane is still 64 and eight dollars a minute times three channels, so it's restricted on using it. Okay. Uh, to file your reports or whatever. So I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad uh, I've been corrected on that one. I literally just did a Facebook update saying eight dollars a minute on Super Rob on oomph, uh, but I know the pricing has actually come way down on Super Rob. Yeah, no, no, especially depending how you package it or prepay. Yeah, you can get it down way down. Like if, if you go and actually mark my talk down the pricing, but um, like if you go at on demand, no pay in front, it's like nine dollars a megabyte. Okay. Uh, where when you were on the old MPDS, which was you know eight times less data, right. it was five dollars a megabit. You know, so you actually technically when you're paying, you get four times more data for the same price. Right. Swift broadband on megabyte. Right. When you do the math versus old Swift yeah. 64 megabit, you know MPDS data. Right. Right. Um, Big difference. So. Yeah, so definitely change your Facebook that this is not... I will, I'll change it. So, uh, but you, if you get the right account, like you pay for, like if they know your usage and you prepay a year, you can get a megabytes down very low, $4 a megabyte, whatever, you know, because that's their gimme, they're getting their money on the front. So there's okay. different packages that, you know, I know SACOP, I know the other two, I, I don't know all the pricing exactly, um, but you know, some people pay more as they pay as they go, because they don't have to use but I would suggest paying up, you know, at least a quarter ahead of time and getting a discount. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. Now, uh, and, and as you say, functionality, then it's just a, it's like night and day yes. difference. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're talking about a 432K hookup with a single channel of Swift Broadband, you know, it's, um, you know, even streaming, you could even stream like a sling box or things like that, you know. Now, I don't want to suggest that because then it's a lot of data. It takes up all the bandwidth, but... But there, there's some compression technology out there right now that's really interesting that's and some uh, so there's a lot going on. accelerating technology. And we accelerate, technology. You know, yeah. when, when we configure our airplanes, we can do SACOM Direct and their acceleration program. That's right. And EMS, you know, routers, our cabin gateway router, Honeywell's cabin gateway router. Of course, with broadband, we're going to get faster at the end of 2012. They're going to do this software drop. And it, uh, I hope so. <laughs> Are you confident in the 700 uh, you know, kilobits uh, per second? Yeah, I, it's going to happen whether it be on time is always a lot of issue later, yeah. maybe in Marsat or whatever. I know yeah. it's a challenge. Um, but, you know, they came through with the, the I-4s I and mean, they worked and they've been pretty reliable. I've had really no major I-4 issues in the last you know, three years it's been, I guess. That's great. Right. Um, so, big endorsement for Marsat and then as they come down the pike with the KA, yep. uh, so, you know, it's interesting. Yep, so we're looking forward to it. Um, we're not a KU, you know, we don't do KU at this point. Yeah, so, yeah, he was saying earlier that KU just isn't for you. <laughs> KU is not for us, you know, and we're completely worldwide, and typically, like, like I was talking to you years ago about was that we're just BlackBerry yeah, players. Typically, uh -huh. now the struggle I'm having is originally supposed to go into they're starting to roll out iPads to executives, so that's now we're into a struggle mode where they want now 
the connectivity that I've made, which is designed to yeah. keep data. Yeah, big data. Blackberries are not designed that way, but now, you know, the executives are all sophisticated, know what they're doing, they want their sling box to work, or their little apps, you know, their Fox News apps to work, yeah. it's huge chunks of data. So, um, I was just talking to Mark, with the account now we can set up that, you actually pay as you go, even in a personal airplane like this, or a yeah. airplane. You know, so all right, BlackBerry is free, or you can hit this app, or you take your IP of your device, and then you can put your travel credit card in if you want to do something that's going to take up mega Yeah, wow. So we're struggling with that in my flight department as a budgetary purpose, you know, if we go help we'll put it wide up, you know, we get way dollars up high that we're not ready for. Yeah. Um, we've also played with SACOM Direct limiting certain IP addresses, so if they want to get to their app for mail, uh, it'll work, it'll get to the Honeywell network or the corporate network. But they couldn't go to CNN or they couldn't go to whatever without a streaming video because we would limit what IPs could go off this airplane as a way around it. Wow. So, I mean, so when you work, there's other people there, single yeah. operator owners, you know, they don't, they don't want that restriction. Right. So it's right. Interesting. Well, thank you. Sure.